Hello, beautiful creators. Thank you for joining me here today. It's amazing and so gratifying to see so many of you here already. And I do have the most wonderful news to share with you. Really wonderful. The journey that I guess all actors have been on over the last 18 months and, you know, I mean, it's not just our industry that COVID has affected, is it? It's everybody. Our industry was shut down, theatres were closed, you know, very, very little television being made. I suppose six months or so into lockdown, I just thought, what on earth am I going to do? What am I going to do with my time? I just thought, well, maybe I could go back to university and I ended up back doing an MA in drama. My project started out as a, a solo piece. So I was intending to create a one woman show for theatre to bring back to the industry when everything opened up again. So it started off as a sort of autobiographical solo piece. Then I started including other characters. And then I contacted lots of friends on Zoom and said, look, do you want to do some improvs? Would you like to play the producer character? Would you like to play my sister stroke mum? And now I'm saying that I'm going to do it and you're upset with me. I mean, I can't fucking win. And all of us had such a great time. I'm really, I'm really, really sorry that I raised my voice. But and it was just so great to hang out with mates on Zoom and play like children. So we did that and then I wrote the script and then we recorded the read through of the script on Zoom. I'm talking about experiencing the actual manifestations of your wishes, your dreams becoming reality. Kelly started following self-help programs and looking at self-help gurus and manifested her way. She started visualising the life that she wanted. I'm talking about the power you possess, we all possess, to create the life you want to live. As she started to make a success, so she actually got a commission for an autobiography, she started making videos to go on YouTube. Always remember, sensations are your sat-nav. Namaste. And it started gathering the following and people wanted what she'd got. They wanted her teaching. So she started seminars. They grew. It ended up becoming a big theatre tour that she was taking all around the country, changing people's lives. Don't be standing up for me. Stand up for you. Come on. Stand up for you. Yes. Feel that vibration going through the roof. This is what I'm talking about. Getting them to manifest love into their lives, their dream job, their house, whatever it might be, and was quite successful at it. I mean, of course, the two sides to uh, this coin, it doesn't work for everyone, this power of positive thinking, but it's worked for Kelly to a certain extent. And it's worked for a lot of her followers. So she's selling this big idea that we can have whatever we want if we just focus on it and think positive. We are deliberate creators. We choose our thoughts and our feelings with precision because in the words of the wonderful Mike Dooley, thoughts become things. So choose the good ones. But of course, the underbelly of Kelly is that she's not a perfect human being. She falls down. She's human. She fails. She's sometimes a bit mean to her PA. We should have left last night, right after the show, like I said. Kelly, you, you were exhausted. Oh, so it's my fault. All right, then. That explains it, then. No, no, I'm not saying that. You're the PA. Hello, I'm Karen, the PA. I'm so organised. But then Kelly feels bad. She feels guilty, like all of us, when we lose our temper or don't behave well. I'm pathetic. Hey, now, I'm not having that. I just feel a bit, a bit useless sometimes, a bit of a failure. What? You are anything but. You're amazing. I would never have made a success of this without you. Without you, there is no guru. So Kelly's team put up with a lot and they save her a lot from herself <laughs> well here she is the star of the show the guru herself kelly mckenna the character of rebecca can do everything so she's kelly's agent i'll be brief because believe it or not kelly doesn't like fuss in fact she'll probably kill me for doing this sort of in control of kelly but it's something she has to manage with karen because kelly sometimes tries to keep her at a distance because she can't quite cope with how organised uh, Rebecca is. This is the last night of 
an incredible tour, sell out all over the country. She has a partner who is really quite long suffering, but loves her uh, to pieces. I was completely, you know, smitten with you and I was involved with Julian and I didn't think you were interested. And Kelly can lose her temper. She can be a diva. She can be controlling. She can talk in the most awful way to Pip, but it all just goes over Pip's head. He just doesn't, because he totally loves the heart of her and knows that she's a good person. Stood there minding my own business and suddenly you come over. And you, I just went up to him and I grabbed him right by the hands and I just dragged him with me. All of them would pretty much lay down their lives for Kelly. They really love her and she really loves them. I mean, it is it is complicated, but human com human relationships are complicated, aren't they? Look, 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 look. Uh, there, hot. Oh, that's, what am I doing? That doesn't work. Hang on a second, hang on a second. It needs... It's right in front of you. Rick is an LA producer. His background is he's produced lots of reality TV. He's uh, really mixed in that sort of LA world of go get. Oh, I had this picture. I know you can't see it now, but you see that's my pool, like right out my back window. That's, that's your pool? I mean, it's not really my pool, but I thought oh. it would look like it could be my pool. I thought it was your pool then. I'm like, cool yeah. to stay with you. Now he actually wants something that he can believe in that, and he believes in this. He wants beauty in his life. He wants to be selling something that can help people. And he's sort of having a bit of a midlife turnaround. You know, I've made money. I've made these shows, but now I want something that feels pure. And he's caught Kelly's show when he's been on holiday in Britain. He caught her show, I think, in Manchester and thought, I've been drawn into this show for a reason. <laughs> so he's he's a genuine believer. Rick Henderson, good to meet you. Oh, I love it. I love a sexy American accent, me. This is Jackie, uh, Kelly's mum. Sister, Kelly's sister. We worked out that our mum had walked out on us when we were young, so I would have been eight, she would have been about 12. The mum thing is just a little family joke. Keep talking. Jackie telling Kelly what to do. Kelly started saying, what are you, me mum? All right then, mum. <laughs> so the little nurse goes out and I get my pants off and I'm sitting up there in one of those chairs, you know, legs akimbo, and this gorgeous fella walks in. <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. She's retired and now she's doing everything and has a lot of young men, younger men on her arm. And I think to myself, just close your eyes, Jackie, and think of England, and he sits down there, you know, and he says, I'm sure I know you from somewhere. <laughs> Part of the idea of this project was writing parts for women like me over 50 actresses who have got 30 odd years experience in the business. Because I was like you, I thought, oh my gosh, look, they're all going to be vegetarians. Kelly's going to visit her really powerful neighbour. I am you know. a vegetarian, but you know, yeah. Oh, I really like meat. And in the pilot, we don't meet her until the very last uh, moment, but she's going to be a real powerhouse throughout the series. Ah, I don't know what to say to that, Marcia. Oh. <laughs> there are five central characters who are women all over 50. Broadcast producers, commissioners are becoming more aware that actresses need parts too. Now we are raising money to finance shooting the pilot, which we're shooting in mid-September. So the idea of the pilot is that we shoot as much of the script as we possibly can and then take that to broadcasters and producers and see if we can get it commissioned. We've got a GoFundMe page. I hope that people will offer their support by donating. Everyone is doing this for free. All our amazing cast of actors all donating their time for free. We've got the amazing Luke Palmer, who is a fantastic DOP, doing all this for nothing. So we're not asking to pay them, but we would like to cover their accommodation expenses and their travel expenses and feed them because we're going to be doing a really intense shoot. It's going to be shooting over three days and going from dawn to dusk. So they're going to work really hard. We're having a lot of equipment lent to us by the university, which is absolutely fantastic. But there are some things the university doesn't have. So we will need to hire equipment there. At the end of this pilot, everyone will receive a credit who's donated. Of course, I have a raft of Susie Croft photos that I can sign and send out. One tiny little positive thing that has come out of this whole COVID situation is that I, I can see 
a lot of helping hands in in our community of actors and creatives that people are trying it's pulling out people's creativity I think people are trying to come up with their own work create their own work and include other people from the industry in it it'd be interesting to look back and go like wow would would we really have done that if this terrible thing hadn't happened I think it can bring out the best it can bring out the worst in people these kind of situations but I think it can bring out the best as well can't it?